You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Falls. What's up, NASCAR Diecast Collectors and Diecast Viewers on YouTube? This is Original Brian here, and welcome back to uh, the second video on uh, the other uh, Ryan Blade diecast that I got. You guys probably know what it is, but let's go ahead and get onto it. And ladies and gentlemen, today's diecast review will be on Ryan Blaney's 2018 Dex Imaging Ford Fusion for Team Penske. So this is yet another great looking car that I just picked up um, from my good friends at Racing USA. I'll provide a link in the description if you guys want to check them out. Uh, they are, uh, 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 I guess they're our uh, um, a pretty new business for as i do say so myself i think they've been around for you know a couple years now if i'm not mistaken but um i was very fortunate i was very fortunate to get this car because um kc diecast and lesha diecast was sold out on the penzoil car but they weren't on the dex imaging car but i wanted to get both in the same box so hence why i ordered from racing usa but um enough of me blabbering about uh that so let's go ahead and start the unboxing and the review of the ryan blaney dex imaging car Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we got this diecast out of this box, and uh, let's go ahead and get a closer look at the details right here. Um, this is yet another Gold Series car that Line Our Racing produced, so probably going to expect some little bit of uh, paint chips or decal errors, but so far looking good so far as we get to the front. I mean, we got that usual uh, Team Penske um, paint scheme layout that they always run, but uh, first time Ryan Blaney actually is incorporating this paint scheme, so it was bound to happen eventually, but this car does look really nice, and um, heck, I mean, uh, talk about Dex, oh my god, are you kidding me, Lionel? I kid you not, I, I mean, is this worth $8, man? How does that even happen, that there is literally a paint chip, and you can literally see the metal of the die cast right underneath the B-post? My God, huh, why now? <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, uh, compared to 2014, uh, I think this year alone has been, uh, there's another paint chip right there on the uh, freaking corner panel. Oh, 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 why do you guys do this on a Ryan Blaney car, man? Another reason why I don't order Gold Series cars because you just don't know what uh, what the results you're going to get. <laughs> um, unless you go to the tracks. Um, but, man, enough of me on a little rant about Lionel and their quality control. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one. There are a lot of people out there who are complaining about the quality on the 164s. And even the 124s as well, man. Hence why I haven't collected any 124s for this year as well. Um, you could probably check out Wind Valley D20's um, video if you want more information about, uh, <laughs> about my opinion on the 124 ARCs. Because they are, you know, crap. <laughs> Anyways, back to the diecast, guys. I'm going to keep this pretty positive, besides the two little whoopsie-doos we had. Um, I was talking about the Dex Imaging car. So, he was originally going to drive this car for three races, which uh, I believe debuted at Atlanta. And then he also ran this at, um, what was that, also, also at uh, Kentucky, which he had a really, really great run. Um, finishing second to my boy, Mark Truex Jr. So, that was a really cool race um, for, for a Truex and a Bellini fan. Um... Yeah, he was really good at that race. Um, he also ran really well at the Michigan race, which uh, was the other uh, track that was the other uh, race that they uh, sponsored at the last minute. Um, Richmond as well, guys. But he didn't really have that much good runs besides Kentucky and Michigan in this car. Um, he did run a car that was very similar to this, which has the inverted colors, which is the Rev car. So um, I believe that that car is, uh, I believe it didn't got canceled yet. So we should probably get that pretty soon because that will be a cool diecast to compare. But for now, we're going to go ahead and start the diecast comparison on a, on a, one of Brent Bellini's teammates, which looks exactly like the Rev car, which is Brad Kozlowski's uh, Worth car from this year. So um, this will be a great diecast comparison for NASCAR Dennis collectors and um, the Gold Series collectors. As you see right there, I mean, um, it looks like we definitely, uh, basically, it's an inverted paint scheme, guys. <laughs> I mean, can't get more creative than that, guys. But uh, there are some slight differences. You can see the curve... Uh, um, on this car is a little more inward compared to more outward on this car But basically where the red is that's where the white is and then where the white is that's where the red is so Plus we got red rims on the worth car compared to the uh, Bellini diecast, which is pretty cool um, This car definitely uh, the Bellini car definitely is lacking a little bit of sponsorship as you can see um, uh, Because usually he has a sponsor on his corner panel, but it's completely blank on here so you know little, I mean that is kind of disappointing and oh my god what on earth Okay, are you, are you guys seeing this? Is that 12 all right? What the heck? It looks like a kindergartner drew, uh, drew that. <laughs> I think it's a good time to wrap up this diecast review, man. Holy crap! If I if I if I swear to God, I spy one more error on this car, 
I'm gonna flip a table and just uh, call it right here, guys. <laughs> um, oh, the Dex MG logo is a little crooked right here. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we gotta go back to the bad side. Um, positive thoughts, Brian. Uh, well, besides the quality control in this car, it is such an amazing car, man. I mean, I don't really like to call myself a complainer, but that is just ridiculous, man. I mean, I don't know what's worse, the paint chip or the kindergarten number 12 that we got right here on the back. I mean, God. I mean, feel free to comment below if you guys have any diecasts that were pretty screwed up. Maybe I'll make that as a fail segment on the diecast news. I mean, heck, uh, <laughs> with all the crappy cars that we've had for this year, I mean, man. Quality control really Lionel needs to get it together, man. I understand there are they are a massively produced company, but when you're paying eight dollars for a car, you expect a pretty good high quality car. Maybe some decal errors, but nothing compared to what happened with my car. But um, you know, if you like all the Team Penske cars, especially with this paint scheme layout that they've had for since what, like 2011, then this is another cool car to get, man. It's a different Ryan Blaney car, but it still has that unique um that, like I just said, that unique paint scheme that all the Penske cars have driven. So this will go well, very well with all the other cars and all the other Ryan Blaney cars that we got out for this year. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this very uh, not so biased and very uh, aggravated diecast review of uh, Ryan Blaney's 2018 Dix Imaging Ford Fusion for Team Penske. If you guys enjoyed this review along with my other NASCAR diecast reviews, then feel free to hit that subscribe button and make sure to click that bell icon so you can guys stay up to date on my latest diecast reviews and many more for this NASCAR channel. But until then, guys, this is a Rich Bry, and I will catch you guys on another NASCAR diecast review.